Let me ask you a question. What do you most miss about driving for Uber and Lyft? That's the question. Last week, Harry did a YouTube Live and a bunch of us were reminiscing about the things that we're missing about driving. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you uh, what some of the drivers said that they were missing. And uh, stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you the number one thing for me that I miss the most. See if you can guess it. Little hint, it's not the pay cuts. <laughs> So hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. Okay, let's get into some background. And we're gonna get a little nostalgic here today. I've done over 26,500 rides. And you know, there's a reason I did that many rides because I really enjoyed it. In fact, there are parts of the job that I absolutely loved. In many ways, it was the best job I ever had. So uh, we're going to dive deep into what, what do we miss? What do we miss? So Number one, we miss our passengers, our peeps. That's right. That was by far the number one response. As you can see here, uh, Aaron said, I miss the interesting conversations with my riders. Rideshare Lisa said, what I miss about rideshare is meeting people. I'm definitely a people person. That's why I started rideshare to begin with. And then Dar Darsan Namaste. I've missed that meeting and talking with new people every day, but this pandemic came as an opportunity. There are a bunch of opportunities. I suggest everyone to start create their own economy. So um, pretty awesome. Number two, we miss the beauty of nature. We miss uh, seeing what's happening out in the world, right? So as you look at this beautiful sunrise, I'm reminded of all of my early morning rides to the airport. In San Francisco, you gotta drive down Highway 101 in most cases, and uh, you'd see that sunrise rising up over the bay like that. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's look, let's look at what some other uh, drivers had to say. First, we have uh, Sandra Bennett. I was driving, I, en I enjoyed meeting people and see different areas in Michigan. And Scott Barrett, I agree with Jay, I miss the sunrise, driving around and looking at mountains and palm trees and a couple of cool, meaningful conversations per day. So uh, that's a, a, a common, another common thing that uh, we miss. Okay, number three, we miss the money. Show me the money, yeah. It is pretty cool that you can go out. I mean, every day I went out, I was out to make $300 in most cases. I would drive for 10 hours and I would expect to, to make $300. And then at the end of the day, I would go to my app and cash out. And that money went immediately into my checking account. Uh, this is really cool. So uh, we, we miss the money. Here's what some pa some other have said. Uh, Bernie Dean Webb, I totally miss driving. First, the money, of course. Miss meeting people, love to drive. So getting paid for doing things I love is a win-win-win for me. I call it my therapy. And then DJ says, I miss the rideshare income. I don't qualify for unemployment benefits. Now, given that we love to drive for money, and for many of us, uh, driving people around is still too risky, especially as we're seeing coronavirus cases on the uprise, you might consider delivering food. And there are three companies we recommend. They are DoorDash, Postmates, and Instacart. And just below this video, you'll be able to find links to those three companies if you want to apply and start doing that. Making money, but in a safer um, environment because you're not having people in your car. Okay, number four, we do not miss. Okay, this is a we do not miss the traffic, right? Um, I just remember being so very frustrated a few times. Downtown San Francisco, Something happened on the bridge. I'm in my car. There's a passenger who's upset because it's taking too long. Car in front of me, car behind me, car on each side. There's nothing I could do. No side streets, nothing. It's just blocked in. And man, you really got to learn to take some deep breaths and calm your passenger down. Say it's going to be okay. And just remember, this too shall pass. And it always does. And it always works out. 
but man, we do not miss the traffic. And we can see right here, uh, artistic impressions, Karen. I definitely don't miss the traffic in downtown Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you, Karen. Okay, now two things that I personally miss, um, which were not brought up, was first of all, I missed the morning routine. I mean, it was like a ritual for me. I would get up at the same time, do my shower, make my bed, get to the uh, gas station, fill my car up with gas, get to Starbucks, you know, smell that that coffee in the morning. You know, usually you'd see the same person working. There's a barista named Jane. I used to love to, to see her in the mornings. And, uh, and then, you know, get back in my car, turn on my app and hear that ping. And I'm like, okay, we're off, you know? And half the time it was an airport run. So I was like, okay, you know, cha -ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, let's do this. Let's look at the bay. So I missed that, that routine. And that takes us to the thing I miss the most. And that is listening to Miles Davis and Led Zeppelin and Joe Rogan. Uh, man, uh, it was such a, an, a, like an indulgence, right? So this is number six and the final one. And, you know, every day I could just uh, listen to as much music as I wanted. I had 10 hours a day to listen to music. And there's something different about listening to it in your car, you know? You put the window down, the air, the, you know, you open the sunroof, you're moving fast, you're driving. It's, you know, beautiful stuff outside. And then you hear 10 Years Gone by Led Zeppelin, or you hear... Uh, Heartbreaker by Led Zeppelin, or you hear Miles Davis, you know, flamenco sketches. It's just, you know, kind of a magic, magic moments that are created with music and driving and, and, and the, the wind and the sun and the things that are around you. So that is by far the thing I miss the most. Key takeaways. Damn, I miss driving. You know, remembering all these things, reminiscing, uh, it's uh, look at, looking back at driving through sepia-toned lenses, yeah? Uh, I miss it. It was really great. And uh, I don't know if it's ever going to be great like that again. I mean, if you're going to go drive now, this is it, you know? This is on you, passengers in the back, and uh, who knows what kind of money you can make, you know? I mean, coronavirus cases are going up. More people are staying home. It's just a big CF, you know? We just gotta see what happens, but I miss it. I miss it, and apparently a lot of you miss it as well. I hope this little walk down memory lane uh, brightened your day. If you still wanna drive and you don't wanna drive people, you know, check the links below. Uh, we do have, you know, some links for food delivery companies that are looking for people because their business um, is absolutely booming. And I want to say thank you very much to all the people who are on YouTube Live who contributed um, to that conversation and, um, you know, and commented and told us what you missed. All right. That was the spark for this uh, video and for the article. And uh, it was actually a lot of fun to put it all together for you. All right. Hey, so this is the Rideshare Guy. This is the Rideshare Guy channel. If you have not subscribed yet, subscribe. We do five, count them five videos every single week. Stay on top of your game. Okay, this is the place, the only place. We are, as one of our clients said, the mecca of rideshare drivers. Subscribe and definitely sign up for notifications so you know when the next YouTube Live is and you can go and, and listen and participate as well. This is Jay Crater. Thank you very much. If you haven't liked the video, click that little thumbs up, like. It'll let more people see the video. You'll go ahead and have a great day. Be safe out there.